Hello, I hope all is well. So I was looking through my bank and I noticed that I still had a bunch of Wrath runes that I bought when they first came out. Now the original plan was to use them for PKing, but I ended up forgetting about it a little bit, playing some other accounts, had some other things going on, and I was thinking now with the addition of extended Super Anti-Fire potions and combine that with the Tome of Fire, they might actually be pretty good for training on Metal Dragons. I remember I used to get somewhere around 120k magic experience per hour using Fire Wave while alking at Steel Dragons. I think back then I was hitting up to about 25 with Fire Wave, but now with Fire Surge and being able to use the Tome of Fire, I am able to hit up to 45 with this setup. I believe this is the max possible mage gear for a 1 defense 60 attack peer, to have the Tome of Fire, uh, the Seer's Ring imbued, the Tormented Bracelet, Occult Necklace, and the Mage Arena 2 Cape, along with the Smoke Battle Staff, for a total Mage bonus of plus 92 and a plus 17% magic damage. So I'm going to be testing out the experience rates on my one defense peer here, 97 magic, hopefully we'll get 99 fairly soon. I would love to be able to PK with Spellbook Swap, that could be extremely helpful. Uh, one thing you'll notice that I do have Blood Runes in my inventory, and actually the reason for that is while I'm casting Fire Surge and Alking down here, I'm going to be sprinkling in some casts of Charge. Now you can do that once every minute, and it provides 180 magic experience, meaning you could gain up to 10k experience per hour in totally passive experience. One thing I'm going to show you in case you're not familiar is if you want to change the threshold at which you receive a warning about Alking, you simply right click on the alchemy spell and hit uh, set level at which you want to get the warning and I'm going to increase mine a little bit because I am going to be alking things like dragon med helms and I don't want to get that warning every time. Uh, here's a quick price check of my inventory before I go in. I'm just curious how much money I will gain or lose because these wrath runes are a little bit more expensive than bloods. Alright so I'm going to go spend exactly one hour killing iron and steel dragons, casting fire surge and alking in between casts. Also casting charge about every minute or when I remember and see how much experience I get. Now I can already tell I'm hitting 45s and I'm consistently hitting 25, 30s and higher and this is actually going really fast, better than I thought it would and this comment from this player here kind of sums it up a little bit. I'm legitimately sometimes dropping these dragons with six, seven, eight casts like it's nothing. I remember back when I first started playing 05, 06, I would come down here with Fire Strike because I didn't know any better and I didn't have any money, but I would take legitimately 10 minutes to kill one dragon just for the hope that maybe I would get dragon legs because if I had got one of those drops back then it would have tripled my bank value. So as I go ahead and finish up my last kill here, I used just over a thousand Wrath runes and over a thousand Nature runes, tried to keep it one for one with the Alks and Fire Surge cast. Also, you'll notice my Blood Rune count actually increased. That's in spite of doing all the charge casts that I intended to. And that is because Blood Runes is one of the most common drops of these guys. And I just really feel like as cheap and plentiful as Blood Runes are, you're already wielding a Smoke Battle Staff, so you don't need to bring the Fires or Airs or anything. There's no reason not to take that extra experience. And here I am, only 15k till my next level. I got a total of 163,000 magic experience in one hour. So I think that's really good, 163k experience per hour. Now let's see if it cost me any money or if I ended up making a profit. I actually, oh, wrong screen. So I actually made a total of 230k in profit from this. Now that's because I chose some of the right items to ALK. Profitability in something like this really is dependent on what you choose to ALK, and I'm usually pretty good at picking something that ALKs for a profit. If you're interested in seeing how I go about doing that, I would be happy to make a video trying to help out. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting, and I'll see you next time.